All right, so today we are going to work on this extra end. Um, that is the, the bow joint here is worn out on the tie end row. So as you can see, I can wiggle the whole assembly here and that's not supposed to be happening. So that's a fair job to do. Uh, only thing is sometimes the tie end rolls are very stuck into the wheel hub, but we'll see how it goes and, and we'll do our best. Uh, the job is not very hard. What matters here is to kind of respect a couple of things. Uh, first of all, we have to check the, take a couple of measurements, not to, to mess with the alignment of the wheels, otherwise it needs to be realigned. And um, to do so, it's fairly easy. We can just uh, measure a couple of things and then we can just reproduce them. Uh, then sometimes the, the cone shape of the, the tie and uh, the, the ball joint might make it hard to remove, but for that there exist a couple of solutions. So today we'll just try to use a tool for that, which is this kind of a fork. And we'll slide it on the top of the ball and then we'll just hammer it. So that normally works really well. The only thing is it will break the seal that is under. Um, I'll show you. This is the new part. So that's how it looks. It does have a side, so you have to be careful to buy the correct side when you buy it. Um, basically, this tool will come here and will be hammered here. And by doing that, it will separate that part to the support where it's in. So when you do that, you break that seal. So if you break that seal, the part will go bad really quickly. So that's not a solution if you want to reduce the, the tie-end rod that you are just pulling it apart. Then it's a bit hard, you sometimes get it by just tapping it slowly from the top, it can get loose. Or then you have to hammer it really hard from the support and uh, uh, from the side. And then the shape of the cone makes it pop out. But let's see and hope that it goes well. So basically, this part goes here. Uh, the distance that we have to respect is from there to this end, so we will measure if the parts are the same, then how much thread, for example, is left, and then we know for the distance. And the play on this one is right here. You can see that it moves way too much. So, let's put it apart. All right, let's start with some cleaning. We will check, there's a tread here on the bar. So we will check from the back of the tread to the nut, how much distance we have. That way we can reposition it to the very same distance. So here we can see that we have 17 millimeters between the last tread and the bolt. And then I could also take it so that from the middle here to the last tread, I can have a look also. That would be 21 centimeter. And we'll check when I put it back. Well then, very often those can be stuck inside each other. So I will loosen this one and then I will try to turn this one to see if it, I can get it loose. Yes. Sometimes uh, the inside part will spin as well. Then you have to use another tool from the top and an open wrench to open it. In my case, it seems pretty solid, so we just remove it. Okay, now it got loose actually, so I will have to use a wrench there. But it will make it so much easier to remove it.
That is not looking good. Nope. Okay, then we will have to cut it because this won't hold. Yeah, I think I have just enough space to cut it from here. All right, let's cut it. You got it in the way. There we go. And then this one can be a spin out of there. Yes. And we check those two. They are the same. I will put a little bit of uh, copper paste there so that it doesn't seize. And if it has to be open again or adjusted, it will move. Those need to be adjusted when, when doing an alignment of the wheels. They need to be adjusted. So if they are completely seized with the corrosion, then it's very annoying to do it. That's why it's always better to put a little bit of anti seize here. All right, let's put it back together. There we go. And I should be pretty close to what it was because I've just backed up the nut a little bit and the part is the same length. So we should be within the tolerance of the alignment when I tighten it back. Then we have to put this one back in. that and then we fasten this one let's see if we can do it just like that um, it is not very recommended to use an impact gun on that because it can easily break the thread those are pretty small and they don't need to be super tight yes there we go Then I will tighten that one over there just to lock it and I will check my measurement. So we should still have 17 millimeters here. Yes, that's exactly what we have. And still be with the 21 yeah 21 from there yeah
All right, just need to put the wheel back on and we have no more play. So that's good, this is fixed. I will just turn the wheel and put it back on and that's it. All right, well, I'm happy with that, it's done. Um, I had to cut the part, that can happen sometimes. I didn't need to use that special tool, which was nice. But yeah, very often when you have to put those apart, they end up broken. So anyways, now I should be still aligned and uh, I will see it with the way on my tires. If I see that they are eating on the inside or outside, then I know that I need to get it aligned. Anyways, it's good to get it aligned every now and then, so I will see. If it starts to wear out, then I will have to do it. But yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.